Hello friends, today we're looking at a method to control the Lego pneumatic system. This is a method that I'm pretty sure I've invented because I've not seen anyone else do it on the internet, but I mean maybe there is someone who's thought of it before I did. Anyway, this is a method to control the Lego pneumatic system without any pumps or motors or switches. So it's a very easy system to use. Here's the showcase of it. As you can see, I have one pneumatic cylinder hooked up directly to the other pneumatic cylinder so that when I push in here, it translates to motion in the other cylinder. And when I pull out here, it goes back down. So as you can see, using this method, you could control the arm of an excavator or a crane very easily and simply. All you'd have to do is perhaps attach a lever to this one, and as you push the lever and it pushes in, the arm of the crane can go up. As you pull the lever out, the arm of the crane goes down. So, a very quick, simple, and easy solution for controlling LEGO pneumatics. You could even turn it around and use this as the lever. Because I'm using cylinders of about the same size, the movement is pretty linear in how it works. Like, as much as this one goes down, this one goes up about as much. There's a bit of lossage due to the inner space taken up by these hoses, so it's not a 100% efficient system, but it works a lot quicker than if you have a pump and a motor and a switch and all that stuff. And here, I'll showcase a real-world application for it in one of your models. As you can see here, I have a gearbox with a small cylinder connected to the driving ring and the driving ring lever. So this could be a gearbox for switching gears for functions or speed. And then over on this side, I have a large pneumatic cylinder to get a bit of mechanical advantage over the small one. So with because of the extra air that this one has over the small one, it's a lot more efficient. And here's the lever to drive it. As you can see, as I push this lever, it moves the gearbox. Let's get a close-up view of that. So in this way, you could have a gearbox easy to switch just by having this simple pneumatic system and a lever maybe on the outside of your vehicle. And another upside to this system is you can, if you so choose, attach a motor to drive this cylinder so it could be remote controlled. That way, the simplest pneumatic system you could have is a motor and two cylinders rather than a motor, a pump, a cylinder, a switch, and any of those little T pieces that you need. So this is not the perfect pneumatic solution, but it's already given me lots of ideas for good use cases that I could use it for.